Question number one, at a traffic signal with a flashing yellow arrow, you should A. Stop and be prepared to obey the following signal, B. Yield to approaching traffic and continue with caution, C. Slow down and make the turn. Correct answer is B. Yield to approaching traffic and continue with caution. Question number two, this type of signal is usually seen in a. A railroad intersection. B. An intersection on the highway. C. A school zone. Correct answer is A. A railroad intersection. Question number three. The correct hand signal to indicate a right turn is A. Hand and arm extended downwards. B. Hand and arm extended outwards. C. Hand and arm extended upwards. Correct answer is C, hand, and arm extended upwards. Question number four. This traffic signal warns drivers that they are approaching. A, a single lane bridge. B, a divided road. C, a one-way road. Correct answer is, B, a divided road. Question number 5. The driver of a vehicle who is being overtaken by another should A. Move to the left. B. Increase the speed. C. Not increase the speed. Correct answer is, C. Not increase the speed. Question number 6. The danger areas around trucks and buses where accidents are most frequent are called A. Blind spots B. Dark zone C. Empty spaces Correct answer is A. Blind spots Question number 7. What does this warning sign represent? A. Trucks are not allowed on this road B. Beware of trucks approaching ahead C. Steep hill ahead. Correct answer is C. Steep hill ahead. Question number 8. Florida law exempts the following drivers from seat belt requirements, except A. Employees of a home newspaper delivery service, B. Agricultural equipment drivers, C. Post office employees delivering mail. Correct answer is, C. Post office employees delivering mail. Question number 9. The maximum speed limit in residential areas in Florida is A. 40 miles per hour, B. 20 miles per hour, C. 30 miles per hour. Correct answer is, C. 30 miles per hour. Question number 10. This warning sign notifies you that there is A. A low area on the road B. A bridge is ahead C. A slippery road ahead Correct answer is A. A low area on the road Question number 11. Which of the following statements is incorrect? A. If you hit an unattended vehicle, report the accident to the police B. Throwing garbage on public roads can be fined up to $1,000. C. Driving too slowly is considered safe and prevents accidents on the highway. Correct answer is, C. Driving too slowly is considered safe and prevents accidents on the highway. Question number 12. What should you do if you see this signal when you are driving? A. Turn left and then right. B. Release the brake and drive straight ahead. C. Slow down your vehicle. Correct answer is, C. Slow down your vehicle. Question number 13. The minimum safety distance in order to avoid a collision with the vehicle ahead of you is A. 3 to 4 seconds. B. 1 to 2 seconds. C. 5 to 6 seconds. Correct answer is A. 3 to 4 seconds. 
Question number 14. What are the main travel aids for a person who is blind? A. A red cane or a service animal. B. A white cane or a wheelchair. C. A white cane or a service animal. Correct answer is C. A white cane or a service animal. Question number 15. The arrow in this signal indicates that A. Right turn ahead. B. Double turn ahead. C. The road will turn right ahead. Correct answer is B. Double turn ahead. Question number 16. This sign means that a. Do not overtake the area for cyclists is ahead. B. Road crossing for bikes is ahead. C. Cyclists must use the indicated lane only. Correct answer is B. Road crossing for bikes is ahead. Question number 17. What does this sign mean? A. This lane is reserved for right turns. B. This lane is reserved for cars traveling at high speeds. C. This lane is reserved for certain purposes or certain vehicles. Correct answer is C. This lane is reserved for certain purposes or certain vehicles. Question number 18. What does this sign mean? A. Acceleration road ahead. B. Narrow bridge ahead. C. Narrow road ahead. Correct answer is B. Narrow bridge ahead. Question number 19. While driving on the freeway you realize that you missed your exit, then you must A. Turn on your four-way signals and reverse your vehicle. B. Honk your horn and reverse your vehicle. C. Continue to the next exit. Correct answer is C. Continue to the next exit. Question number 20. At night you should not use your high beams within A. 400 feet of an approaching vehicle B. 500 feet of an approaching vehicle C. 300 feet of an approaching vehicle Correct answer is B. 500 feet of an approaching vehicle Question number 21. What is the meaning of this sign? A. Zoo is ahead. B. Farm is ahead. C. Deer crossing area is ahead. Correct answer is C. Deer crossing area is ahead. Question number 22. What should you do when you see this traffic sign? A. Expect 30 more miles to the next exit. B. Reduce the speed to 30 miles per hour or below and exit the highway. C. Exit the highway at a minimum speed of 30 miles per hour. Correct answer is B. Reduce the speed to 30 miles per hour or below and exit the highway. Question number 23. On two-way roads with a center lane, drivers from either direction can use the center lane to A. Frequent stops B. Make left turns C. Make right turns Correct answer is B. Make left turns. Question number 24. This signal warns drivers that A. They should not leave the pavement. B. They must move towards the roadside at high speed. C. They must move towards the roadside and slow down. Correct answer is A. They should not leave the pavement. Question number 25. If you refuse to have a blood test to check your blood alcohol level, your license will be suspended for A. 12 months B. 36 months C. 24 months Correct answer is A. 12 months Question number 26. Bicycles traveling on a one-way street with two or more lanes of traffic can ride A. On the right side of the street B. On the side of the road. C. On the left side of the street. Correct answer is C. On the left side of the street. 
Question number 27. This signal indicates that A. Split road ahead. B. A one-way street begins. C. A two-way street begins. Correct answer is C. A two-way street begins. Question number 28. What should you do if you approach a drawbridge with a red signal? A. Stop completely. B. Continue with caution and keep an eye out for bridge signs. C. Slow down and watch for signs. Correct answer is A. Stop completely. Question number 29. This signal represents A. A hospital ahead. B. A crossroad ahead. C. A church ahead. Correct answer is B. A crossroad ahead. Question number 30. Florida vehicle license plates and registration must be renewed. A. Every five years. B. Every year or every two years. C. Every three years. Correct answer is B. Every year or every two years. Question number 31. At a roundabout the driver must drive in. A. Counterclockwise direction. B. The shortest direction to the exit. C. Clockwise direction. Correct answer is A. Counterclockwise direction. Question number 32. A dashed yellow line on the pavement. A. Mark the right bank of the road. B. Separate lanes of traffic by traveling in opposite directions. C. Separate lanes of traffic traveling in the same direction. Correct answer is B. Separate lanes of traffic by traveling in opposite directions. Question number 33. This construction and maintenance sign indicates a. Emergency vehicle ahead. B. Persons with flags ahead. C. People work on the road. Correct answer is B. Persons with flags ahead. Question number 34. This traffic sign means A. Passing is not permitted. B. Stopping is not permitted. C. U-turn is not permitted. Correct answer is A. Passing is not permitted. Question number 35. What does this Pentagon tell us? A. School crossing ahead. B. School bus stop ahead. C. Pedestrian crossing ahead. Correct answer is A. School crossing ahead. Question number 36. What should the driver do when he sees this signal? A. Should not make you turns. B. Turn left. C. Switch to the left lane. Correct answer is A. Should not make you turns. Question number 37. When two vehicles arrive at an open intersection at the same time. A. Both drivers can proceed at the same time. B. The driver on the right gives way to the driver on the left. C. The driver on the left gives way to the driver on the right. Correct answer is C. The driver on the left gives way to the driver on the right. Question number 38. Drivers entering the main road from a driveway should A. Not take a left turn. B. Give way to all vehicles on the main road. C. Slow down before entering to the main road. Correct answer is, B. Give way to all vehicles on the main road. Question number 39. If another driver is following you very closely, you should not. A. Maintain your speed to allow more space in front of you. B. Provide more space to allow it to pass. C. Increase your speed. Correct answer is, C. Increase your speed. Question number 40. When traveling on a two-lane highway and a vehicle in front of you stops for a pedestrian, you must A. Warn the stationary vehicle to take a detour. B. 
slow down and pass the vehicle slowly. See, not pass the stopped vehicle. Correct answer is C, not pass the stopped vehicle. Question number 41. What does this sign mean? A. A gas station ahead. B. Phone service is available ahead. C. Medical services ahead. Correct answer is B. Phone service is available ahead. Question number 42. If a railroad crossing does not have warning devices but only the following sign, you should A. Stop within 100 feet of the railroad crossing B. Slow down and proceed with caution C. Increase the speed and cross the railway track Correct answer is B. Slow down and proceed with caution Question number 43 which of the following statements is not true regarding the use of car lights? A. High beams are used when you are traveling in fog, rain, or snow. B. Low beams are used for city driving and road traffic conditions. C. Low beams are used when traveling behind other vehicles. Correct answer is A. High beams are used when you are traveling in fog, rain, or snow. Question number 44. At railroad crossings where railway tracks are not clearly visible, you should slow down. A. To determine that no traffic is approaching. B. To determine that no pedestrians are coming. C. To determine that a train is not coming. Correct answer is C. To determine that a train is not coming. Question number 45. When a traffic signal turns green at an intersection and you are going straight through, you should A. Drive your vehicle as quickly as possible through the intersection B. Make sure no more vehicles are coming through or still in the intersection C. Watch out for turning traffic Correct answer is B. Make sure no more vehicles are coming through or still in the intersection Question number 46. Which of the following allows you to pass other vehicles? A. A white broken line. B. A solid white line. C. A single solid yellow line. Correct answer is A. A white broken line. Question number 47. If there is an emergency vehicle directly behind your vehicle and you are in heavy traffic, you should. A. Keep moving safely until you can get out of the way. B. Keep moving in the same lane and let the emergency vehicle change lanes. C. Increase the speed of your vehicle and let the emergency vehicle pass you. Correct answer is A. Keep moving safely until you can get out of the way. Question number 48. If there is a yellow broken line on your side of the center guideline, then a. You can cross the line only if the other side has a broken line. B. You can cross the line to pass other vehicles if it is safe. C. You must not cross the line. Correct answer is B. You can cross the line to pass other vehicles if it is safe. Question number 49. Which of the following are known as uncontrolled intersections? A. Intersections that are not protected by a police officer. B. Intersections that are not controlled by a flashing red light. C. Intersections not protected by stop signs, yield signs, or traffic lights. Correct answer is C. Intersections not protected by stop signs, yield signs, or traffic lights. Question number 50. When is it legal to pass another vehicle using the shoulder of the road? A. When the vehicle in front of you is stopped in an emergency. B. When the vehicle in front of you is turning left. C. You are not legally allowed to pass on the shoulder of the road. Correct answer is C. You are not legally allowed to pass on the shoulder of the road.